This smile offer up a good scare? Welcome Cinema, where we focus on a film. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you seen Smile? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or is it somewhere right in the middle? Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you find it beneficial and helpful for whether you're going to see this film, not see it, or if you're just enjoying this film culture community where we talk about a lot of the cinema as a whole and getting right into synopsis. After experiencing a bizarre traumatic incident with one of her patients, Dr. Rose Cotter starts experiencing the these weird things that are all coming about with her experiences. And getting right into the positive, first off I'd like to say the performances are great. What we're getting into the psychological dissection of what the smile horror premise is all about. I've imagined this sort of thing before, before the film even existed, but I watched it for the first time in anticipation for Smile 2 and just what we get out of it delivers on what I really expected out of it while also adding the added bonus to the lore, it's expansive to the nature of what you're getting out of the characters. Something that you're not getting into too deep with what the characters are, their human motivation, and everything throughout. But it really adds in extra layers to the story because you're beginning to question reality, beginning to question what really exists within the world of this psychological nature to where, yes, they are experiencing traumatic stress disorder, but how real is it to the outside world and the nature of the curse that is all involved within that and all the psychological talk because we're involving this psychologist, this mentor, what she is doing once she witnesses the de death of one of her patients in front of her because of that smile. It adds just so much extra layers that I personally enjoy because I enjoy studying psychology. And so how we get that, adding that layer to the human nature, the human psyche, just adds in the extra emphasis on the lore, what it all means with the smile, the trauma, and everything that goes on throughout, how that curse gets passed on to the next person. There's not really a clear-cut definition on how that works because it's the supernatural realm of things and it's a psychological thriller that's both psychologically done and thrilling to the nature of how it builds up its story. It's things that go about along the way that the performances really sell the screams, really sell everything that's going on throughout the psychotic nature of things that it's just too hard to believe. And the outside world, once you're seeing that, just doesn't look like they're being able to understand what's going on and things that are going about along the way adding in this boyfriend to the psychologist and just how that wraps up and things that you have to solve along the way, figure out how to stop that curse from moving on, just makes it interesting and intriguing to keep you captivated all the way through. And getting it into the mix elements, yes this is a film that may not work for you or will work for you just on the basis on the fact that it doesn't have a clear cut basis of what it's going into its lore, how this curse even started. It sort of has that sort of paradox where it's a demonic thing, but where does that demonic thing start within the story? We're thrown into the midst of wherever it even began, and it's not the beginning of that sort of thing, but it goes along the lines of the concept. And for me personally, I feel it could have done a little bit more with the lore. It's not necessarily a takeaway because it is something that is just basing it off the own concept. It delivers on that concept, but it doesn't feel like it delivers too much more outside of what we get out of the bizarre end scene that can be really good on its own, can add the extra layers based on what we're getting out of the psychological aspects of the film, but it still touches on certain things that feels like it's leading and teasing something more that's going to happen or certain aspects of the film where it could have been shortened up and being able to keep it tighter and manage to reveal some of the entity, some of the spirit in the physical flesh a lot sooner into the story, even if not completely in the beginning of the story, somewhere where you 
end up seeing it on day three or day four of the journey she's experiencing that sort of supernatural entity that's starting to take over her life starting to see things and it just takes that slow build up but it doesn't have a natural gradual progression that feels like it builds up to that point in a way that fully earns its place in the story. Which leads me into the negatives to which there's some aspects of the film where yes there's a little bit more that's to be desired and there's certain aspects of the character relationship, the chemistry with the partner like Dr. Rose Cotter and her partner where her partner isn't necessarily always trusting her right off the bat and I know there's some aspect to that that's believable because you're wanting to get help for her if she's seemingly psychotic but the way he responds is with no response at all essentially and so there could be a little bit more to how he responds even if it ends up leading on to him getting a psychologist for her, him bringing her in to a psychologist. But that part of the story sort of gets left out. Certain things get taken on a little bit too much longer to where this story ends up being over 90 minutes, which it feels like it could be tighter, could be closer to that 90 minute mark. That really would condense it down to the meat and bones of what feels more essential to the story. And while the buildup is something that feels like it earns its own place, that's also where it feels like it if the, it was a bit tighter, then it would really flow on throughout, have a gradual buildup that feels like it earns the way to the end result of the all to the story as a whole. So that's just my personal review for Smile, which I have to rate as simply 7 out of 10. Let me know all your thoughts on Smile. Are you going to be seeing Smile too? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or is there a storm right in the middle? Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already to join in Film Culture Community where we talk about the love of cinema as a whole. So that's just my thoughts and make sure to do yourself a favor and go watch a movie.